The month of November is a very dynamic month this year. A month of changes, of revelations, of insights, a lot of agitation. And therefore in this video I will focus on what you can do best to get as smooth as possible of a ride through this month. So without further ado, fasten your seat belt and let's go. And today we have the parrot joining in as well as you could hear. Like, subscribe and share. Hi, welcome to a new video of mine. My name is Lotfi Mrat. In this video I'm going to talk about how you we can get through this month without too much scars, without too much stress. Because predicting what's going to happen in the world, yes, I can give you some vague indication and I may do that. But it's not important what's going to happen. And anyway, nobody can predict things perfectly because they are timelines, they're fluid. If I would predict that, for example, one person who would win a certain battle then if that person hears it he may get more relaxed and the other person hears it he may get more tense and then the outcome can just change we are changing and and influencing i should actually say all that is happening through our intentions and quantum physics has been showing this so it's not some woohoo some voodoo no it's just quantum physics, mathematics, and it's not because we cannot yet measure everything with the primitive tools we have today. Yes, people call them very advanced, but just look at all the megalithic structures that exist on Earth, which we can still not produce today, although we have all this fantastic technology, so we're not that advanced. Anyway, I believe it's more important that we know what to do in certain kind of situations than to just know what's going to happen because we may still screw up or we may actually get worried or stressed about oh but if that really happens then what what if what if what if what if no not useful so better know how to be prepared for whatever is coming doesn't mean it's bad what's coming some good, it's some bad. I mean, when I say bad things you may not like, other things you may like, we all have different tastes. So change the way you look at things. That's the first thing I would say. Change the way you look at things. The world is changing, so trying to look at things from a perspective of the 2010s, early 2000s, the 1990s, 1980s, 1970s, depending how old you are, it's not going to work. We have been having all our life lessons. And life lessons are there to be integrated, which means we change, we upgrade, we go to a next level. So remember what you have learned very recently and you will see how you can use that in the coming months. I already recorded a video and you will see probably a thumbnail and a link up here on the energy of 2025-2026 transformations that will happen. So if you want to know that, watch that video first. But this video is really about how to get through the month of November. Second thing, the words unity and harmony are coming up. Join forces with people who are on a similar frequency. Peaceful people. People who want to create something beautiful. 
people who want to create a better world, who want to build something that's sustainable. Not sustainable in the way that they're trying to sell us global warming and all that kind of stuff and what you should be doing. Because there's a lot of lies there. I always say, follow the money. I mean, driving electric cars is much more polluting than driving a quite modern diesel car. Why? Well, fine dust, very heavy batteries means much more pressure on the tires. The tire tires are getting scratched much more. They start to let off all that dust and that goes into the air. That's in the city where they want you to only drive electric cars. But outside of that, how are they produced all these batteries? Well, we know slavery, mining, groundwater pollution and much more. So coming back, when I say sustainable creation, it means something in line with mother nature, something that is not good now, but will bite you tomorrow or next year. A lot of things that we have done in the last 50 years are things that we need to repair. All the pollution we created, we need to clean all that. So, one of the things that we should be doing from now on is look at how can we limit the damage that we create. And if possible even, how can we clean up some of the damage we made? I want to say sustainability, doing things in a sustainable way, it's also building relationships on trust, on honesty, and on love. The enemy of the enemy of my enemy is my friend is not going to work anymore because that person going to turn against you or you're going to turn against that person at a certain moment once the benefit is gone instead look at how you have similar goals whether it's about the city you live in whether it's about your activities, your daily activities or your hobbies, whether it's about where your passion lays when it comes to conversations, your interests, and be together with these people. You will start to see that you will not lose energy, but you will gain energy in being with this kind of people. Number three, stop watching the news in whatever shape or form, in whatever quantity. Stop. Again, based on follow the money, news is not going to bring you anything positive, anything good. Create your own news by sharing with people that you meet the good things you're experiencing and seeing around you. If you look at the previous point, if you start doing that, you will start to see more good stuff happening. And by sharing those things, you will inspire more people to start doing this. And so your community will start to grow and you will start to create more peace, joy, harmony around you. Not just for yourself, but also for the people around you. Move. Number four. It's important to move. Not to sit still on your lazy butt all the time, all day long. It's important that you are in motion. There are so many health benefits to moving your butt off that chair. And there is so much illness that you get from not moving your butt. So start moving. Exercise if you can. 
have a walk if you can in nature in a park and if you have none of that still go out and walk if you cannot go out because of the weather or whatever walk through the house when we get our motion we benefit enormously physically our circulation is better our oxygen absorption is better we burn more calories our hormonal system is more imbalanced there's a lot more that is happening in your body that's benefiting you if you think it's boring put on some music listen to a podcast hey i have plenty of videos out there podcasts that you can listen to that are really interesting especially spontaneous conversations i have been recording several of them recently again and there is a lot for you to absorb that's what i do or i'm on the phone having a conversation with a person who inspires me who helps me open my horizon widen my horizon i should say meditate if you are able you have experience with meditation meditate if you do not have experience with meditation or you have negative experiences with meditation then up here i'll link a video and you also will find a link down there in the description on youtube um, where i share with you how you can do a three minute meditation it actually helps you why do i recommend this this boring activity well, if three minutes is not so boring. It helps clearing the mind, especially when we are triggered, when there are stressful things happening, when we lose focus. The solar activity is very strong. We're going through a photon belt with the whole solar system that's affecting us so it's very important to rebalance and one of the things to rebalance is meditation so you can sit for three minutes you can do it wherever you are there's most probably a toilet nearby when you're at the office or so you go in the first three minutes nobody will bother you do some calm breathing slow breathing and like i said You'll find in the description exactly how to do it and you'll see that it will help you calm down and afterwards you have more clarity another thing that i recommend you to do is grounding you will also find in the description a link for that grounding physical grounding is slightly different from energetic grounding physical grounding is literally touching mother earth so standing with bare feet outside putting your bare hands on a tree for example or on the soil which will help discharge the excess of electrons in your body because of all the solar activity we need to do this much more than we did before but in general doing this once or twice a day helps you prevent inflammation in your body and the link I'm putting there, there is also scientific proof of everything there. So energetic grounding is a little bit more connected with meditation. But you'll see also in the link there how to do that. Combining the two can be while well, having a peaceful walk, while well, laying in a warm bath, or maybe a cold bath, I don't know. A shower, hot or cold. Or just sitting or laying. The last one is don't take things so fucking serious. If you look at what's happening, for example, in the political realm 
not just in the US, but in your own country. If you would take what's happening there and you would put it in a, in a TV show, it would be very successful and would be labeled a comedy. Get the point? So, detach and observe from a distance and let in your sense of humor. Because it's really funny. If you detach, you can laugh about things. Of course, this does not work when it comes to extreme violence. But if you look at the big picture of things, it's ironic what's happening. We had World War II. In World War II, a certain group of people were the big victims. They were the only victims, the way it's portrayed in Western school books, in Western media. Just that group. All the others don't count. And then we have today, and not just today, like right after World War II, people identifying with that group from World War II are doing the exact same thing that happened to the first group. They're doing it to another group. And it's been going on till today. And while doing that, they say, oh, we are the victims. For me, that's... It's a perfect scenario for a comedy. And actually, a lot of comedy is about that. That something happens to someone and he's crying about it. And then later he does it to someone else and feels good about it. And we see that everywhere. In our daily lives, within our families, within our communities. And we also see it in movies and TV shows. And then we laugh about it. Or we judge it and we say it's really stupid, it's hypocritical, whatever we say. So, detach as much as you can. Because worrying about something that's happening over there or that may happen is only draining your energy. Being angry at some guy who's responsible for a lot of people doing something, which already is strange, because there's not one guy who's responsible for tens of thousands of people doing shit. But anyway, being angry at one or multiple people over there Anger is just you harming yourself because you judge somebody else. And in reality, you're judging yourself for not being able to go and do right. To right the wrongs. To stop the bad things from happening. So you start judging yourself and hurting yourself, being angry at yourself, actually. You say you're angry at that person, but actually you're frustrated that you cannot do something about it. But you are not responsible for all the other people. You are just responsible for yourself. And even if you have children, you first and in the... Priority number one at all times is you. Because if you do not take good care of yourself, you cannot be a good caretaker for anybody around you. Because if you're weak, nobody can lean on you. And that's maybe the most important lesson for you to learn and to apply, actually. Because you may have heard this, but start fucking doing it. Stop being such an arrogant asshole who thinks you can save the whole world. But you're constantly sacrificing yourself, not taking good care of yourself. And in the end, you're getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And then you will be a burden for the world. But if you would take good care of yourself, then you can cooperate with other people and make first 
the small space around you a better place. And the more and more people you cooperate with, the bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger the space gets that is a good place. And all that stuff started by you taking good care of yourself. So, whatever is going to happen next month or the month after or next year, Take good care of yourself. Part of it is good nutrition, good rest, exercising, walking, whatever, meditation, grounding, not poisoning yourself with negative thoughts, with negative images like the news and things like that. Uh, people you do not resonate with at all. No, the opposite. Eat healthy. Breathe healthy. Rest in a healthy way. Have healthy, joyful people around you. And you will see the world will change because you are spreading love. No matter what's happening over there, here you are creating a paradise. And that paradise will only expand because more people will want to join that paradise. And because awareness of people is rising, people are waking up and you, you see it. You're here for a reason. And so I'm sure you, if you just pay a little bit of attention, you will see that more and more people are waking up. Even if they just took the first step, they are waking up. And so they will join you or join someone else's circle and start spreading love. From now on, you cannot be a victim anymore. You have ownership of your life, of your well-being, or your misery. And of course, if you feel that you have triggers and you cannot control them, ask for help. Come to me or go to someone else, but do something. It's a successful people, if you pay attention, who ask for help, who have a mentor, who have coaches when they need it, who hire smarter people than them to do the things that they're not good at. So learn from them. And then you will also be successful in life. You will be able to do even more good. I wish you a beautiful day. I wish you a beautiful month. And you'll see more videos from me coming, spontaneous conversations and others wonderful day like subscribe and share